Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this demonstration blog I'm using WordPress version 3.0.1 with the thesis theme version 1.8. In a previous video I taught you how to create the navigation menu along the top of your WordPress blog using the thesis theme. Now a lot of people don't realize it but this link over here on the right it says subscribe that actually is part of the navigation menu so I'm going to mouse over that and you can see it says Jim's Max GXL marketing team RSS feed now the purpose of this video is not going to be to explain what the RSS feed is. If you're not sure what that is, and don't feel bad, most people don't know what that is, just type in the words RSS feed into Google and you'll be referred to hundreds and hundreds of articles and some videos that will explain the concept of what that is. This video is just going to talk about how to change the text in the RSS feed or how to remove it or add it back in. So let's get started. I'm going to click on this tab in the browser that brings me to the dashboard of my blog where I've already logged in. I'm going to scroll down. You can see the thesis tab. Underneath that it says site options. Click there. Mosey on down over here you get pages. Click on the plus button. Scroll down. Feed link. Click on the plus to the to the right of it. And where it says subscribe, I'm just clicking there and start typing to RSS feed. And that's basically it. I'm going to click outside to deselect. I'm going to scroll back up, click the big ass save button. I'm going to click back in this tab, brings me back to the browser. Nothing in the text here has changed, of course, because we have not refreshed the page. I'm going to click refresh or reload and we've changed the text you can see that quite clearly okay what I'm going to do this time is go back into the dashboard and remove this link altogether by the way this little orange symbol if I didn't explain it already is the universal symbol for RSS feeds okay back to the dashboard click here scroll down click on pages scroll down click on feed link and before I uncheck this, you can see that there is a check mark next to add no follow to feed link. That is checked there by default. You might as well leave it in. It's not critical. The no follow just has to do with it's just telling search engines they don't need to follow this link, which I think is probably a good thing. So just leave that checked. If you want to get rid of the link on your nav bar, in your nav bar, just uncheck that. It automatically, you can see it just automatically folds in when you uncheck it scroll up click the big ass save button click back here you can see on the right it's still there we click the refresh or reload as it's called it's gone okay I'm gonna put it back up in a minute and change the text again so down here click there I do want to show it I just want to change it to subscribe so I've changed the text deselect scroll back up big ass save button back to the browser back to the blog hit the reload button in my Google Chrome browser it goes back up and that's really all there is to it 